Y'all let me know if it's working. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what just happened. So. Y'all tell me if this is working. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. YouTube just flat out crashed. So, I don't know if it was the must champ hackers or what it was. Bro, I, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know what the deal was. I, I don't know if this is just, we're just having a time with it. We're having a time with it. But I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Also, I, I, I changed the settings and we are restarting this. We're going to play on All-American because – Bro, Heisman's just impossible, and it's just and it's just not even it's just not even fun. So I'm not even gonna front like I'm I'm not even gonna front, bro. Like straight up, I'm not playing it on Heisman. I tried to do that last time, and it was brutal. It was abysmal. So I ain't doing it, man. Is it working? Is it working? YouTube's back. Okay. Hate this play. Whatever. All right. So, uh, Travis Allen, no. So, not the normal Daily Crow today, as you can see. We're playing uh, Road to Glory with Spencer Rattler. I just thought, why not switch it up, man? I mean, it's that time of year. Things are slowed down a little bit. Um, and I know people love this content. You know what I mean? So, I figured, why not? Um, so, this isn't going to be an everyday thing, though, Travis. This is not going to be like, but probably twice a week. We'll probably do this twice a week. But I just figured, why not, you know? Oh my God! Are we going to play any defense? Are we going to play any defense? Do we have? Do we even? Is our defense even going to give us a chance in the game? Austin Wright, what's up, man? Also, guys, leave your questions. You're more than welcome. It's still the Daily Crow. You're more than welcome to leave your questions. You're more than welcome to leave your questions. So, hopefully YouTube is up. You guys let me know if it's not. Hopefully YouTube's rocking. I, I, I don't know what. It literally just crashed. I don't know what happened. Corey Gardner, no new word on Belk. I would imagine that uh, Kingston's going to speak today. I would imagine Kingston's going to speak today. Look at Rattler. Look at Rattler. Get off me. Bro, that is a Heisman type of run. That is a Heisman type of run, sir. What you talking about? That is a Heisman-esque run right there. That is a Heisman-esque run right there. If only we had a defense that could stop anyone. If only we had a defense right now that could stop anyone. I don't know how UNC is scoring on us. I don't know what's going on with the defense. We're just going to score. I don't know. Bottom line, we're going to score. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. And thank you so much for rocking with the punches, man. I know the game sound's not coming through. Uh, I've got to reinstall the software to do that. If only we had Todd and Tommy calling the play. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, I don't know if y'all want me to do my best Todd Ellis impression. I don't know. Again, hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. By the way, appreciate you all. Hope y'all having a great Thursday. I guess you guys can give me feedback if you love or hate this. Oh my gosh! If you love or hate this, um. You know, do you want to see more of this, <clears throat> less of this? I know our callers will probably be a little little irritated at this, but I, I figure, like, a day like today is a great day. You know, all we have really to talk about is the, the midweek game that happened last night. So, figured it was a good time to, to do this.
Yeah, Travi. Happy birthday, Travi. I don't know if you heard me the last time, but happy birthday, my guy. Happy birthday to you. Crazy your birthday's on Cinco de Mayo, but uh, hope you have a cold one. Yeah, Brennan, I thought Eli Jones had a good outing too. Um, <clears throat> you know, no walks. That's the biggest thing. He threw a ton of strikes, and, you know, we're going to need him down the stretch, man. You get into SEC tournament play and all that, and, you know, you need you need guys like that to step up and, and pitch innings and, you know, maybe even start for you, so... Derek Johnson, will you drink a bottle of mayonnaise we beat Georgia? I'm not making that bet right now. Travis Allen said, this sucks. All right, cool. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Well, Travis, the reason I'm doing it right now, there's only there's only so many hours in the day, my guy, and I'm one person. So, I, you know, I, I've got a personal life. I've got other plans. i got other content to make. And, uh, you know, this, 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 this TDC time slot is – this two-hour time slot is the best time to do this, my guy. So, that's the whole reason. That's the whole reason. Um, again, it's not going to be an everyday thing. It's it's not going to be an everyday thing, but just figured why not. You know, it's kind of that kind of that time of the year. So, why not? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Antoine Wells to the crib. Antoine Wells to the crib. Antoine Wells to the crib. How about it? How about the deep ball? How about the deep ball? And the textbook. I'm not playing defense, though. So, like, I'm fine with All-American. Heisman is impossible. I like I'll go ahead and just bro, I'll go ahead and just say that and you know what? If that makes me sound like whatever and I'm sure there's all these, you know, th there's guys that tune in that are that are NCAA hardos that are going to say oh, you can't play on Heisman. Bro, it's impossible on Heisman. It's it's impossible like straight up. It's Im I, I I will I am not worthy of playing on Heisman and Road to Glory at least at quarterback. Like there's just there's just no way. I just I can't pass the football. It's it's not fun. It's just not fun. I got very lucky right there throwing the ball like when he was literally stumbling. In fact, he turned around and made that catch. I got kind of lucky right there. So. Like, I don't even want to run that play. I, I don't want to run that play. I mean, bro, what in the world? What in the world? Where is our defense? Where is our... Clayton White, where you at, my guy? Where are you at, Clayton? What is going on? Oh, my God, dude. Mm, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. Yeah, we need to we need to start going deep. We got to just start going deep. Just launching the ball down the field. Yep, I should have thrown a laser to Jaheim there. I, I had him if I throw a, throw a laser to him. There's that pick. Well, this game's over. <laughs> this game is over. 42. Dude, we're getting crushed. 42 to 17. God. Good throw. I mean, it's just too little too late. It's just too little too late, bro. I mean, we're getting killed. <laughs> getting crushed, bro. Anyways, great win for Gamecocks baseball last night. Um, 
had a lot of fun at the yard, man. It's it's so good to get back and see everybody and hang out and and uh, just had a blast. I I appreciate y'all sincerely, man. How about the guy Stogner, little Rattler to Stogner? I bet you, I bet you we see that connection a good bit. I bet you we see that connection a good bit. I bet we will. Just nobody open, bro. Just literally nobody open. Just literally nobody open. <laughs> not a soul. Not a soul open. Die for that ball. God, die for that ball. <sighs> die for that ball, bro. Kruger, I didn't see that. Sampson and Stogner working. I didn't see that. Well, we got to go for it. Got to go for it. Got to go for it. Got to go for it, coach. Got to go for it, coach. I'd like to score one more touchdown. I really would. I'd really like to score one more touchdown. That'd be nice. Like, why Why are we running the ball? Why are we running the ball, bro? We don't want to score? Like, do we really not want to score? It's insane. How does he not get in the end zone here? Like, bro, get in the end zone. You're right there. Got down to like the he got down to the inch line. <laughs> how how do you not fall forward? How do you not fall forward there? Like, come on, bro. Hey, Antoine Wells. There we go. Okay. Well, I mean, we we had we had a good game. We had a good game. We had a good game. The defense didn't do anything, but we had a good game. I tell you this, that was a lot more fun than playing it on Heisman, though. I can tell you that right now. That was a lot more fun than playing it on Heisman. So again, you you got hey, you guys be honest with me. You guys be honest with me. This is not going to be an everyday thing, okay? This is not going to be an everyday thing, okay? Right? Probably something twice a week, you know, twice a week. But I want y'all to know, is this, do, do you hate this? Would you rather just run the Daily Crow as normal? And if we're going to do this, this be something separate? Or is this like, is this okay? Do you guys mind? Is this something that, you know, that, that you're cool with? Y'all let me know. I mean, I, 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 I value the feedback. There's a reason I ask for y'all's feedback, because I value it. I value it. So, you know, y'all let me know. I just figured, you know what, we're kind of at a time in the year where there's not nearly as much to talk about. I'm not saying that there isn't nothing to talk about, but there's not nearly as much to talk about. And I know people love this content. And so I just figured, you know what, like, you know, why not? Why not? So, but if you guys don't like it, I mean, listen, I, I think the market speaks, man. So I'm all about listening to the market. I'm all about listening to the market, listening to the people and, you know, Taking you guys' feedback into consideration, so. Uh, Travi says, it's fine, but how about a dynasty? Well, Travi, the reason that I'm not doing dynasty is because I will do dynasty 
I will do Dynasty later in the summer. I, I will do Dynasty. I mean, yeah, and that's the thing. Matt Sellers is like it entertaining. You can keep chatting. Yeah, I mean, it is the Daily Crow just without callers. I mean, I'm literally taking you guys' questions in the chat. Like, I, it's, you see we have the exact same setup. So, like, I'm just, I'm just playing the game as we go. Um, I mean, guys, I'll tell you this. I, I would prefer to do it separately. Here's the thing, though. Right now, with baseball going on, and again, I'm only one person, and we have to record the podcast, and we have to create the content. So it's just like there's only so many hours in the day. You see what I'm saying? Like there, there's only so many hours. <laughs> there's only so, yeah, Travi. So I will do, I will play the dynasty, and I will play it on Heisman, by the way, Travi. But I will play the dynasty in the month of July, and then I'll do the season simulation series in the month of August. So that, that's why I don't do the Dynasty right now. Let's see. What skill upgrades can we get? Not really anything right now. Nothing. Okay, we'll just stick with what we got. All right, we're going to take on Georgia. And Georgia's 0-1? Georgia's 0-1. How about that? I say we just go traditional whites. I'm going to go traditional whites. But again, I just thought it was something like, you know, I, I felt like, I'll be honest with you guys, and again, the beauty of the Daily Crow this time of year is when there's not as much, quote-unquote, to talk about, the conversation gets very random, and that creates awesome clips and awesome content. Um, but I just figured, you know, th again, this time of year, this time of year, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it is entertaining content. So, anyways, let's proceed. Yeah, Andrew the textbook says separate if possible. John Kruger again, do this at night. Like, like I said, I, I'm down to do it at night. It's just there's only so many hours in the day. That's the biggest thing. There's only so many hours in the day. Um, so. We'll see. We'll see how the schedule plays out. In the meantime, though, we're going to rock right now. How about take down Georgia? That'd be fun, right, after you, after you lose to UNC? Need the O-line to play well in this one. Need the O-line. Absolutely need the O-line. Of course, we'll be getting Georgia at home this year. I know my guy, so my guy, SG1 Sports, he will come out with Dynasty Mode that actually has the updated schedule, believe it or not. And yeah, Matt Sellers, I know there's a lag and delay, so when we do this, I am playing the game, right? I am playing the game, and the stream is coming in behind. So if you hear me reacting early, I do apologize, it's just... Yeah, so I, I haven't learned how to, like, delay the stream itself. I, I, I just, I don't know. Not not quite an expert yet. <laughs> I'm not quite an expert yet. Robbie Davis, what's up, my guy? I will say that's the only thing about this that I don't love is that, like, I don't get to hear from Robbie. But I see Robbie Davis commenting. I don't get to hear from Robbie Davis on the phone, but I see you commenting, Robbie. I appreciate you, my man. We, we need Robbie's feedback. On uh, And Austin Greer, I understand that you can customize the schedule, but you can't make it like when we play this team this week, this team this week. This like I'm saying that he will have the actual schedule game for game for game for game um, locked in. By the way, speaking of this upcoming football season, confirmed it today. Uh, this interview will take place next Wednesday, next Wednesday morning. But we have got a huge, huge interview lined up. Next Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Huge interview. And I, that's all. I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm going to tease it. Uh, as we get closer to it, I will let you know who it is. But it, it's it's a big one. It's a real, real big one. It's a real big one. Think Gamecocks football. I'll just leave it at that. Think Gamecocks football. Here we go. Good drive to start. Oh, we, EJ is still in here. I should have taken him out. Whoops. I mean, I know he transferred, but in the meantime, he can catch a tutty. 
He can catch a tutty in the meantime. He can catch a tutty in the meantime. Why not? <laughs> he can catch a tutty in the meantime. Now, that's that's going to be dumb, isn't it? If we lost to UNC, and but we beat Georgia, that ain't going to make any sense. That ain't going to make a lick of sense if that happens. Yes, John Kruger, that is what we in the business call a cliffhanger. But, no, I, it, it's an interview you're going to be very excited for, I promise you. Very, very excited for. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to throw a pick and nobody's open. Uh, Savannah Webster, this is the 2013 schedule, so I don't, I don't know who Georgia played week one. I genuinely have no idea. <clears throat> yeah, Robbie, Road to Glory is, is a challenge for sure. Oh, yeah, Sanford Stadium's dope. Sanford Stadium's very dope. I like Sanford. Like, my guy, throw me a block. Scientifically, this makes zero sense. <laughs> Bro, like, come on. Come on, dude. The offensive line. You can't get me a push for a yard? Come on, bro. You killing me. <sighs> and the offensive line gonna get in my way. Like, I could have been a first down. At a boy, at a boy, nice catch. Tyler Gay, in your opinion, has the best away SEC stadium and atmosphere. You know, I haven't been to them all, Tyler. So, it, it, I, you know, I don't want to give an opinion. I, you know, I haven't been to them all, so I, I can't really say my own personal experience. I mean, I think you'd be hard pressed to beat LSU at night, though. I, I think that is that's. I think all parties kind of agree that is the the cream of the crop when it comes to the SEC and game day atmospheres. And I mean, they're all, they're all unique and special in their own way, but dude, LSU at night and I've been to LSU stadium. It is, it is massive. I mean, it, it is a really cool venue. Jesus. We just can't do anything right now. I mean, we can't do anything. Like how, how was our defense? shredded against UNC, but we're just stopping Georgia at will right now. Get Moss, little boy! Get Moss, little boy! Oh my gosh, Josh Van! Get Mossed! Get Mossed! Doing what he did last year in Athens. Rattler to Van with a man in his face. Oh, my goodness. Boop. Good Lord, sir. Get off me. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, holy smokes. That was a hell of a throw and catch. That was a hell of a throw and catch. Uh, Travis Allen, what's your time frame on covering all the SEC? You know, originally, Travis, my time frame was getting things going by the SEC tournament. The SEC tournament in um, in Hoover. I'm not 110% sure yet. That may still happen. I'm thinking probably, though, SEC Media Days is the most realistic. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, Tyler Gay, I, I, so apparently you said the sound went out. Um, I think LSU at night has got to probably take the cake. But, again, I haven't been to all the stadiums, so I don't really feel like I can answer it, you know, as well as I'd like to. Bro, Josh Van going sicko mode right now. Josh Van going crazy right now. Bro, that was, oh, my God. Well, I'm an idiot. Fantastic clock management. Just fantastic. CJ, I will update the... Uh, I don't know why they didn't put a visor on Spencer Rattler. That's a great point. I don't know why they didn't. That's interesting. I don't, I don't know why my guy SG1 didn't do that. Tyler Gay went to LSU in 2012, and I never heard anything like it. Maybe Bama 2010 or Ole Miss 09. Yeah, it's – it's. I feel like that, you know, LSU sort of just understood by all parties as a ridiculous environment. Yeah. Tiger Stadium at night is crazy. So. UGA go to office 2019 flashbacks. <laughs> Just trying to ruin your Thursday, my guy. Just trying to ruin your Thursday. So, glad I can help. Ooh, Rattler up the middle, dude. Rattler up the middle on the keeper, bro. He said, I'll do it myself, big dog. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Come on, Spence. Come on, Spence. Them dogs ain't got nothing on you, Spence. Let's go. <laughs> I'm too ready for kickoff. I'm too ready for kickoff, dude. I'm too ready for kickoff. Okay. <laughs> um... C.J. Curry says LSU should be called Deaf Valley. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, and also, people talking Willie B. I'm not trying to, like, you know, Willie B's awesome. I mean, Willie B, is it gets insanely loud, one of the loudest in all of college football, especially when we're good. Um, but, you know, I don't want to sound, like, overly biased, talking loudest stadiums and just list Willie B. Um, but certainly, I mean, do we, we – I mean, and we're, when we're good, bro, when we're good – when we're good, we hold our own. There's no question. We hold our own when we're good. I mean, we are – it is one of the loudest environments you will come across. Absolutely. All right. All right. We got we to gotta hold on. Trying to go for the upset. We got to hold on. UGA, go dogs. Go. Good point. You are a national champ still. That is a very good point, my friend. That is a very good point. Touche, my guy. Touche. Touche indeed. Kiss the rings, he says. Kiss the ring, he says. If I was you, UJ Go Dogs, I would literally be, I would probably watch the national championship like on replay every day. Because think about it, UJ Go Dogs. Think about this. It took Georgia 40 years to win a championship again. Can you imagine if it took another 40? Like, bro, I you never know. It might. 
It might. It might. So I'd enjoy it. Enjoy it every day. I, that's what I would do. Bro, he did all that juking and jiving to get a yard. Just just one single yard. Absolutely hate this play call. Absolutely hate this play call. Absolutely hate it. Mm-hmm. Hate it. Like, why? Why, bro? Why? That's so ridiculous, so silly. Why that play call? Why that play call? The old drag. CJ Curry <clears throat> says it might be 40 years in baseball unless we step up. Uh, yeah, answer the textbook. If South Carolina won a national championship, you best believe that like every single day, I, I would be just giddy. By the way, guys, we are on a drive to win the game right now. So you get this, you get this. They're out of timeouts. We get this first down right here. I think it might be an ice to cake. Oh, Rattler. You got it, sir. Just hold on to the ball. You got it. You got it, sir. You got it, sir. Take a knee, my guy. Go ahead and stand on it. How did we just beat Georgia when we lost to North Carolina? Can somebody explain that to me? How did that happen? How does that happen? And I, I honestly question why we're throwing the ball here. Dude, I, I, I never wanted to throw it. I should have thrown it to R1, but I, I never wanted to throw it. And an even more bold move, we're going for it. I'm definitely about to let the clock run down here. Why, why would you – all right, question. Why would you not kick the field goal and make this a two-score game? Can anybody explain that to me? Can anybody explain that? Can anybody explain why you wouldn't why you wouldn't do that? Like I, I'm very confused right now. Here we're gonna we're gonna watch the end of the game. Old Stetson Bennett at quarterback. Georgia with no timeouts. Georgia with no timeouts. We're trying to pull the upset, folks. We're trying to pull the upset. Mackenzie Milton. I don't know what Georgia's thinking here, but they, they, they're going to try for a Hail Mary. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just hey, just just let the clock run out. They say, just give Carolina the upset. Hey, we'll take it. Way to way to bounce back from a week one loss. I think I can put a visor on. I'm gonna do that, bro. This play was insane. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Truly. Unreal. Again, guys, yeah, it was a great win last night by the Gamecocks. You know, winning in the midweek kind of did what you were supposed to do. But, hey, dub's a dub's a dub, and now you get ready for uh, Texas A&M.
Let's see. Yeah, can't take the midweek games for granted, for sure. Now, you're right. Listen, you're right. Uh, <laughs> you Jacob Dawes is going to, he's going to go in hiding. Says he's going to go in hiding. Again, guys, appreciate you all tuning in. Like I said, I know a little bit of a different, different type of stream today. Different type of stream, obviously. Um, we'll be doing this probably just twice a week. So, like, tomorrow, the Daily Crow will be back as normal. We'll be back as normal tomorrow. Um, but I just thought, you know what, in the meantime, we've sort of reached a point in the preseason where things are slowed down a little bit, and uh, there's certain days where I think we can really we can really get away with doing stuff like this. So... All right, let's go to. I'm, I'm going to take a second. Let's go to the next game. We're going to play at least, at least, probably maybe two more, at least one more, at least one more. Who do we got next? How do you, how do we get blasted? How do we get blasted by UNC and then beat Georgia? Like, somebody explain, like, how do we give up 42 points in North Carolina and then hold Georgia to 14? We got Vandy next. All right, I'm going to take a piss real quick, right? Real quick, guys, I'll be right back. All right, let's whoop Vandy's ass. <laughs> let's let's whoop Vandy's ass. Uh, let's see, this rock slide. Ooh, do I want to improve the running? Mm, yeah, I want to improve running for sure. All right, let me see if I can change appearance. Okay, I think I can add a visor. Pretty sure I can. Equipment, here we go. Yup. Visor, yes. There we go. Do they have it? Oh, here we go, dark. Does Rattler have a, is his visor, his visor's not dark, is it? I don't think so. I think it's a light visor. Yeah, that works. Whoops. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, Kruger, I appreciate you sending that uh, DM over, my guy. Any big news happening in Gamecock Nation right now? I mean, I guess you guys would be asking me instead of me asking you. Anything I might have missed, though? I don't I don't think so. I don't, I don't think anything really – I know at some point today – I know at some point today Kingston will speak to the media. 
I'll be very interested to hear what he has to say on, on Brant Belk. Very interested on the Brant Belk situation. Outside of that, though, I don't think there's really – all I know is Mark Kingston said after last night the Gamecocks are going to wear Hawaiian shirts on the road to try to switch up the mojo. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently it was his ankle, though, by the way, for Belk. That's what Kingston said after last night. So we'll, we'll see if there's any – see if there's any update today. All righty. Am I even close to competing for the Heisman right now? I doubt it. I, Kruger, he just, he just, uh, he just, uh, that ankle that had been bothering him, I think he, they said he, he, he re-aggravated it. So, we'll see if it keeps him out or hopefully he can go. I, I, I don't know. I mean, we don't know. So, all right, let's play Vandy. What unis? Y'all got a preference? What do y'all what do y'all think? We could just go with the black magic jerseys. Black magic jerseys might be fire. Yeah, we'll just go with the black magics. Why not? Go with the black magic against Vanderbilt. Same ones we wore against them this year, by the way. Yeah. We wore them against them this year. Again, guys, a little bit of different different uh, lightning. No, Doty, no. We're talking about Brant Belk, my guy. We're talking Brant Belk. Brant Belk, my guy, not Luke Doty. <laughs> not Luke Doty. No. Again, we'll be back to the normal Daily Crow tomorrow, guys. Like I said, just through the month of May, we might do this like twice a week, just something, something a little bit different. Yeah, dude, dude Rattler's, Rattler's swag level increases by like a zillion with that freaking, with that visor on. Bro, we need to hit some big plays, dude. Let's hit some big plays. Oh, crap. Normally, normally I'll sim these, sim these run plays, but whatever. Lightning, you're good, my guy. No, you're good. I mean, bro, third and one, we can't get it. Austin Wright, Texas is joining the SEC. I, I don't know exactly when that's all happening. I I, I don't I don't think it's going to be this year. No, I, I don't think it's – I think like 2025, they said. It's going to be a little bit, I think. So – Boop, got him. <clears throat> Tell you what, bro, Josh Van and Wells, that's going to be a really nice one-two punch. Then you factor in Bell and Stogner. I like that. I, li I like the sound of that. I really do. I like the sound of that. <sighs> like, how, how does the DB run the route better than the receiver there? That's my question. How does the DB run the route better than the receiver? Truly. I mean, it's crazy, bro. I mean, I can't audible. I saw the guy was going to blitz. I can't audible. Like, that play was doomed from the jump, bro. You, you, I mean, I, I, I don't have the ability to audible, which is insanity to me. Let's go. AJ, this roster is as complete as any will find. The only thing about the roster, they do not have the freshmen added in. 
And there's a couple of guys still on the roster that hit the transfer portal, but this is, yeah, this is about as complete a roster as you will find. It's as up to date as you're going to find, bottom line. So um, they don't have the true freshmen in there, but like Antoine Wells, Christian Beal Smith, obviously Rattler, uh, Devonnie Reed on defense, Terrell Dawkins. Like they've got all those guys in here, along with, of course, our guys, you know, our returners for this year. So. No, it's 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 pretty damn complete, my dude. It's it's pretty complete, I would say. I should have waited. I had square open. Uh, Lightning. We've played North Carolina and Georgia, and we got blasted by UNC, and then beat Georgia on the road somehow. So. C.J. Curry, so do you think that the Oklahoma-Texas rivalry will be the biggest in the SEC other than Auburn-Alabama? I think that's that's fair. I mean, one of the biggest. One of the biggest. I'm just curious how they're going to break down, like, conferences. They're going to do pods. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are they going to do in regards to that? Very curious to see what they'll do with that. Again, guys, appreciate you all tuning in. Leave your questions, your comments. I'm still taking questions and comments. Uh, Jeff Gullich is really thinking about making the trip to Vanderbilt this year. You know, I, I'd love to. I, I think we're probably going to be partnered with Carolina Alehouse again, so I don't think I'll be going on the road, um, which, I mean, I love throwing the watch parties. It's awesome. But I, I would at some point love to make – I would at some point love to – Make that trip. I mean, I, I've just heard. I've never been. I've never even been to Nashville. I've heard it's incredible. So, but I've heard that trip's a lot of fun, bro. We got to get the offense going. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. Where is the blocking? C.J. Curry says, "Would you say Kentucky or Tennessee is our biggest rival?" C.J. I'd, and, like, you're just talking SEC, right? And, obviously, Clemson's our biggest rival. SEC rival, though? Uh, I think our I think our biggest SEC rival is Georgia. I know they don't feel that way. I mean, I wouldn't put Kentucky as a rival. They're a team that we need to beat and that I'm really tired of losing to. Tennessee's a bigger rival than Kentucky, no question. I mean, uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold the phone. What happened? Hold on, guys. Gameplay is fine, but for some reason the... Let me fix this real quick. Okay, we good? All right, we're back. All right, cool. We got sacked on the screenplay. Do you think it's worth buying a ticket to Death Valley this year? That's what Lightning says. You're talking about the Clemson game, I'd assume. I mean, I think going to Carolina Clemson's cool. I mean, if you want to go, my guy, you, 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 you know, I'm not going to tell you not to go. <clears throat> I, I honestly, I'm not sure that I want to go. Um, I don't know you're familiar with me at this point, guys. I just, like, an attempted, an attempted sabotage by those folks up there. Boop! Wells. That's what we needed. We needed a deep ball completion there. Needed a deep ball completion. Bro, keep running. Go to the corner. Like, what are you doing? Don't stop. <laughs> I mean, don't stop. Mm, damn it. Should we go for it? I kind of want to go for it, personally. Ha! 
had it and dropped it. Just had it and dropped it. Oh, he had it and dropped it. God, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. All right, let's get it back here. Let's get it back here. Mm. They can't cover him. They can't cover him. They can't cover Wells. They cannot cover. All right, let's score here. They can't cover Wells. How do you not get in there? Uh, no, CJ. So, Jaheim Bell's the starting tight end. I got Jaheim Bell as the tight end. Six. Six. Or we need to convert one of these long passes into a freaking touchdown. Uh, I just had to get it. I just had to get it out. Yeah, Tommy Wallace. So the projections for draft picks. I mean, yeah, dude, I agree. If we have if we have three first rounders, yeah, we're 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 gonna have a really good a really good season, dude. I uh, yeah, I don't see how we would have a bad season with three first rounders. I, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't see how that'd be possible. Split them, Jaheim. Split them. Split them. <gasps> Ooh, wee, boy. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. That was a tight window we just went in. Tight window. Dime. That is a dime. That is a dime. Let's go, <laughs> folks. That was a dime. That what, look how messed up his name is. Like what? What? what it, like the game? It's not perfect, bro. That was a dime. That was a dime. <laughs> Pressure in the face. Oh my gosh. Pressure in the face. Dimeski. Freaking Dimeski. No, Austin Stogner will not be on campus lightning until uh, the summer. Like sometime in the summer, or maybe just before fall camp, something like that. I mean, I think he's actually going to be there June 1st for workouts and all that. But he, he finished up school at Oklahoma. So he has not been on campus. He has not been on campus. No, that is correct. How about to carry on Joiner making plays? How about DK making plays? How about old Dak making plays? Yeah, Travi, I could also see the Power Five branching off. I, I I agree with you. I do agree with you. Bro, I'm literally pressing R one. I'm literally pressing R one. Like, what is going on? God, I wish I could freaking hot route. Oh, my gosh. Wow. 
Wow. I, I can't believe he got the first here. They gave him the first. Generous, generous spot, folks. Generous spot indeed. Bro, this is this is so much more fun than playing on Heisman. Dude, Heisman's just impossible. I mean, it is flat out. See, if I wasn't a real one, some people would lie and say they are playing on Heisman when they're not. And be like, oh, I'm just I'm just that good at the game. Like, hmm. <laughs> look at this, look at this. I'm not down. I'm not down. And, of course, we got hurt on the play. I mean, his back was, like, in half. Like, no wonder he got – yeah, no kidding he got hurt. Bro, I got to hit three hundo. They got to let me throw it. I got to hit three hundo. Need to hit three hundo, coach. For those asking, there's your boy Stogner. I will say this. If I would have thrown – that ball to Dak, he's probably still running. He's probably still running. Dak was wide open. I just didn't look at him. Come on, coach. We don't want to run the ball out, coach. Come on, coach. Sit dog. What's up, sit dog? Been a while, sit dog. Been a while since I've seen sit dog tune in. Bro, this is bullshit. This is such bullshit. Five yards short of a 300-yard game. All I know is we better beat Vandy by more than two touchdowns in real life. We better beat Vandy by more than two touchdowns, my guy. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Like I said, guys, the next time that we do this, the next time we do this, I will have the game sound working. Andrew, the textbook says, I think South Carolina will beat Vandy 45-14 to 14 this year. I, I, it will not be a one-point game, UGA. It will not be a one-point game. I feel confident, confident in saying it will not be a one-point game. Just me, though. That's just me, though. feel pretty confident in saying that. All righty. Yeah, we're going to play one more. John Kruger says, I think we beat Mizzou. I hope we beat Mizzou, John. We need to beat Mizzou. Ain't no reason for us to lose to Mizzou at home. At home. At home, my dude. I 
All right, here we go. Who we got? We're two and one. Oh, we got a bye week. All right. Adrian Bauer says, I think we beat Missouri, Kentucky, and Tennessee this year. I think if we do that, we have a very, very, very good season, AJ. If we do that, AJ, if we beat Missouri, Kentucky, and Tennessee, we're probably going nine and three. Eight and four at least. We're going eight and four. I'll say that. We're going eight and four if we beat those three. Yeah. Oh, we got UCF in the bounce house. UCF in the ba and by the way, Austin Greer commented this earlier, but you cannot change the schedule in Road to Glory. Uh, sit dog. Yes, we are going to do night streams. I promise you, my guy, we are going to do night streams. Yes, yes. It's not all just going to be this noon. It's not all going to replace. It's not all going to replace the Daily Crow. Yeah, that, trust me. Hey, we've got all the streams planned out for the summer. The month of July, we'll do the Dynasty. The month of August, we'll do the Season Simulation Series. All that good stuff. This is just kind of random. I mean, honestly, this is just sort of random. I just thought, again, you know what? Things have slowed down a little bit. It's 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 that time of year where, you know, we're, we're in the weeds of baseball season. But, you know, otherwise, things are kind of slower. So, figured why not? I thought this would be good, valuable content to inject into the season. Uh, we lost Lightning 42-31 to 31 in North Carolina. Our defense just did not show up. So, our defense, for whatever reason, did not show up. So, all righty, let's see. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's switch things up on the road. Let's go. Let's go black, white, black. Actually, let's go white, white, black. Actually, let's go white, white, garnet with the white alternate helmet. Boom. Lightning, we beat Georgia. Oh, it was 42 32. My bad. Yeah, we went for two. Uh, Georgia, we beat them 21 to 14. John Kruger says we'll lose two of three this weekend. I, I mean, A&M is ranked 13th in the country, so I don't know how bold of a take that is, but, I mean, you know, could certainly happen. Here we go. Dude, let's let's freaking shred UCF, bro. Let's let's shred UCF. Like why not, man? The bounce house. Gamecocks on the road this weekend, by the way, at Texan. Guys, tomorrow's podcast that will drop will be a full breakdown of the series. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give my full preview, prediction, all that good stuff. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Again, tomorrow the Daily Crow will be as normal tomorrow. Like I said, I'm looking at my calendar. We'll probably do these on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and I think Wednesday makes a lot of sense because we're live from Tin Roof for two hours anyways. So I look at that as like, you know, we've already got that two-hour slot. So it's not like you're losing anything per se. And then Thursday just makes sense because there's never a game on – unless baseball is playing on Thursday. I mean, there's just normally never a game on a Thursday. You know what I mean? So I think it just makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense to do it on, uh, on Thursdays as well. Get the first, kid. Get the first. Atta baby. Oh, 
That a baby. Oh, God. Bro, get out of my way. Get out of my way, dog. Rattler going to do it with his legs this game, folks. We're going to do it with the legs this game. My guy, Robbie Davis, texting in. I got... I got us winning two out of three this weekend. I was almost tempted to say we're going to go for the sweep, but to be honest, I don't think we'll sweep. So Robbie Davis has got Carolina taking two out of three against Texas A&M. Would be a very, very, very successful weekend. Um, and I'll tell you, you, you take two out of three, and I'll really start to become a believer that we can make a push to the postseason. I, I will start to become a believer. Dude, I'm, we're just crushing them with the legs. You got to account for Spencer Rattler in the run game, folks. You got to account for Rattler in the run game. You got to account for Rattler in the run game. Stog. Stog. Let's go, Stog. Big, big, big tight end. Oop, oop, defense made a play. Oop, defense made a play. Whoop, what a throw. What a throw, what a catch. Score, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hate the play call. Absolutely hate the play call. Sit dog, what are you talking about? What what's RP? RP is upset. Who's RP? Who who is RP? What do you mean? I'm confused, sit dog. What are you talking about? Oh, you <laughs> sit dog said was texting the wife. You, you, my guy, you get me and your wife confused, my guy. That's interesting. That's interesting, my guy. That's interesting. That's interesting, my guy. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Let's keep it going, bro. Keep the foot on the freaking gas pedal. Let's go. I should have went underneath. I got greedy. I should have went underneath. Should have went underneath. Just nobody open. Nobody open there. Nobody open there. Lightning, Georgia score was 21 to 14. We won. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the garnet face masks? I I'm a black face mask guy. But if they're in the game, like, I'm not going to not wear them. You know what I mean? Like, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. That was dumb. That was an unforced error. That was an unforced error. All right, we got a score here. Got the score here.
Like, I don't hate the garnet face mask, AJ. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a – I'm more of a, a, a traditional – I like the traditional white helmet. I, I do. I do. I, I don't know. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. They gonna give me another chance, though. Yeah, we got a minute. We gotta go deep, for sure. Mmm, I'm screwing up. Oh my gosh, really? Really? We're really letting them back in the game. I'm letting them back in the game. Bro. Yeah, AJ Bowers, garnet face mask on a garnet helmet would not, I would not be a fan of that. I don't think that would look good at all, personally. Bro, can we please run an actual play? Like really? We're just gonna we're just gonna run out the clock. Oh God, we started out twenty one nothing and now it's twenty one fourteen. Like really? We had a twenty one nothing lead, dude. Andrew the textbook. You like the white helmets with the tail feather, my guy? Bro, I those helmets should burn in oblivion forever. Like, worst helmet. That's got to be the worst helmet we've ever worn, and it and it ain't even close. Like, not e what what would be worse than that helmet? I mean, honestly, which helmet would be worse? That. That's the. I mean, it's it's just not even close, dude. Not even close. Sorry, I'm not a fan. Sorry, that makes me whatever. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry to burst your bubble there. I just I hated them. I thought they looked hideous, honestly. So gimmicky and cheap. Like I, I just I thought they looked terrible. I don't know. That's just me. I I apologize, my guy, for you know. Favorite helmet South kind of ever wore. Wow, we just we couldn't be further. We we couldn't we couldn't disagree more on this. I guess. Bro, the, the 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 white helmet is not too plain, my guy. It's perfect. It's 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 so clean, dude. It's so clean. Again, I guess we'll just agree to disagree, my dude. I just can't complete anything down the field right now. I'm having trouble completing anything down the field. And I just, this play call sucks. <sighs> Hundred and seven yards passing, bro. Like, good God. Travis says he wants to beef up, beef up cocky a little bit. Do we? I've always kind of wondered that. Like, should cocky look meaner? You know, should he look meaner? Robbie Davis says, "I don't care what we win, what we wear, as long as we win. I do not give a crap." Well, Robbie, I care how we look. Honestly, I, I do. I love uniforms. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I do. I care a lot less about the uniforms when we win. I do. I care a lot less about the uniforms when we win. So, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But I want us to look cool. I want us to look good. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good, play good, they pay good. That's it. My goodness, somebody. I mean, nothing, bro. Nothing. Just 
unreal, dude. Unreal. Unreal. God, dude. Travi wants to make cocky meaner. He says, I, I mean, I love cocky. Wonder if we made cocky a little bit meaner. That's interesting. Really, really make him look like an ass kicking chicken, Travi. I mean, I don't hey, I don't think that's a crazy thing. I don't think your logic is 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 that is that wild. I, I hear you. I hear you, my guy. Bro, I'm just having trouble completing anything down the field here in this one. Doing things only Spencer Rattler can do. I don't know how that made that play made any sense. He does look friendly, Trev. He's fam he's family friendly, like you said. He's family friendly. There's no question. Cocky is a family friendly man. Travi, bring this up tomorrow. I think this would be a great topic of conversation on the show tomorrow, actually. I, I love it. Is cocky, does cocky look too friendly? D do we need to make cocky look meaner? <laughs> that's a, listen, that's a great question. I, I really think you've got a point. I think you have a point. Maybe cocky is too nice. You know? I love it. Absolutely love it. Get in. Let's go. That'll seal it. That will seal it. That'll seal the old ball game there. That'll seal it. Good timing, too. It's 157 or 156. AJ Bowers, I agree. At least he doesn't look like a crack yet. That's a good point. That's a very good point. That's a very good point, my guy. Travi, yeah, three and I don't know how we lost to UNC the way we did, but three and one. Three and one. We'll take it. And the good news is this, Travi. In this game, Spencer Rattler will not leave after one year. I'm not going to jump to the NFL draft, so we'll have more games to play. Um, again, guys, I, I really do appreciate y'all rolling with the punches, man. Just, just you know, rocking and rolling with the content, continue to support no matter what and tuning into this. I would love to hear you guys' feedback on it. I know it's kind of different. It's kind of interesting that, you know, this is in the time slot of the Daily Crow. But like I told you all, I just I just kind of felt like, you know, we're at, a, we're at a time, we're at a point in the year, point in especially baseball season where things, you know, things are slowed down. I mean, it is what it is. It's totally fine. But I figured – we could still have conversation. We could still take questions and also play this in the meantime. It's a lot of fun. So I would love to hear you guys' feedback. You all let me know. Again, the Daily Crow will be back to normal tomorrow. We'll rock the normal Daily Crow, as you all know and love it. Um, we'll probably do this twice a week. I'm thinking Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, it's either going to be Wednesdays and Thursdays or Mondays and Wednesdays. So you guys just stay tuned for that. Podcast will also drop tomorrow. Also, I'm jumping on an interview with a guy at 3 o'clock for his podcast that I will definitely share that with you all. A guy named Mark Rogers, who actually has a pretty good, pretty big following, especially on YouTube. So excited to talk Gamecocks football with him. Um, and yeah, of course, outside of that, man, the content is just bleeding out of the eyeballs, folks, as we continue to count down to this weekend series against Texas A&M. Um, as we count down to the 100 days to kickoff mark, three weeks from today is 100 days until kickoff for counter football. So uh, really, really exciting stuff on that front. 
Happy Cinco de Mayo for those of you who may celebrate. I hope you guys will be very happy and also safe. Cinco de Mayo, if you're going out, you're drinking, you're doing whatever, just be sure that you get an Uber, be safe, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, Andrew the Textbook says Mark Rogers is a great channel. Yes, yeah, so that's who I'm jumping on with, Mark Rogers TV, Mark Rogers. I'll be talking Gamecocks football with him at 3 o'clock today. I'm not exactly sure. He might stream it live or when he's going to post it or whatever. Either way, go, though, either way, guys, I'll be sure to share that on social media and all that good stuff. But uh, no, sincerely, man, I appreciate y'all. It was great to be back at Founders Park last night and and uh, hang out with all the great Gamecocks. And I mean, again, that's my favorite part of going to games, man, is just seeing you all and getting to shake your hand and meet you guys and talk Gamecocks and you know, share our passion about our favorite team. It, it is truly a pleasure and a blessing and something I, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for, grateful for every single day. So, again, guys, Daily Crow tomorrow is normal noon to 2. Podcast will drop tomorrow, all that good stuff. In the meantime, guys, stay tuned to all the content. Appreciate you all tuning in. Have a great rest of your